so the samsung galaxy z Fold 7 will be coming anytime very soon maybe probably july 2025 so we have a lot of leaks and rumors that i'm going to be sharing with you but before we go into that please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you can be getting the latest leak and rumors when it comes to tech now the first thing we are going to talk about is the design the truth is that this foldable phone is going to be little bit less than that of z Fold 6 because according to the report that we are getting it's going to be reduced from 12.1 millimeter when folded to 8.3 millimeter when folded so the z Fold 6 was 12.1 millimeter but this new one is going to be reduced to 8.6 millimeter so it's going to be very thin that is when folded but when you unfold it it's going to be 3.9 millimeter so it's going to be very slim and i don't know what is wrong with you know this tech company giving us slim phone this these days and the body is going to be built with the titanium back plate and curved edge just like the x26 ultra that samsung released early this year now another thing we are going to talk about is the display so according to the report we are getting the display is going to be 6.5 inches outer AMOLED display with 8.2 inches inner screen display which is far bigger than that of z Fold 6 that they released last year that is 6.3 inches outer display and 7.5 six inches you know in our display it's going to come with the same brightness which is 2600 picnic brightness just like the s25 ultra so they are going to be almost the same then when it comes to the performance we are getting the report that is going to come with the snapdragon 8 elite chipset too okay last year they used the snapdragon 8 gen 3 chipset but this time they are going to use snapdragon 8 elite chipset too and this is even bigger than that of the x25 ultra that they released that is just with snapdragon 8 elite chipset so you see when it comes to the performance it beats all the devices that samsung has produced we also hear that it's going to come with 12 gigabytes of ram but this is kind of less than the s26 ultra because the s digital ultra comes with 16 gigabytes of ram but i assure you it's still going to be very good when you are more taxing and playing your game and do whatever you want to do with this for the phone so now on the camera side is where we have a very huge upgrade because according to the report that we are, that is reaching us we heard that the camera is going to now move from 50 megapixel sensor to 200 megapixel sensor which is huge i don't think there's any foldable food in the market now that have such sensor on their camera so and it's also going to retain the 12 megapixel ultra wide and 10 megapixel three times telephoto then for the selfie camera according to reports that we are getting it's still going to be within 12 megapixel under display camera so we've not gotten much reports regarding the selfie camera now when it comes to the s pen yes it's going to have s pen support but what we don't know yet is if there will be a built-in s pen slot or we are going to buy it you know just like we did with z Fold 6 when they released it last year because there was no space for the s pen but i think there won't be space for s pen given that this foldable phone is going to be very thin now the disappointing thing about this phone that i've heard so far is about the battery they say it's still going to retain the 4400 milliamp hours of battery and it's going to be very slow when it comes to charging according to the report we heard that the charging is going to be just 25 watts wired charging there's no even wireless charging so i don't know how samsung want to pull this up because if you put a very big chip into a smartphone of course you need a battery to power it up so those are the reports and for the price we heard that it's going to be between one thousand eight hundred dollars to two thousand dollars so we don't know but let's see what they are going to release by july this year so i want you to comment your thoughts about this device okay on the comment section and uh, just tell me how you feel about it see you in my next video